Hi, so thanks for joining with me. A uh, long time. So Hi, uh, thank you for joining with me. So uh, this is just an introduction video on object-oriented programming in Fivia. So let's first understand that object-oriented programming concept. So these are the basic concept, uh, but we are going to start with this object first. So basically an object uh, is like a kind of real world object, okay? like a human being or uh, an animal or something like that. Okay? So, and then in each object, we'll have some particular state like this one. So defined state. So for example, now if we consider human being as an object, so uh, you will have some height, some mass, and age, and so on. So these are the state, okay? So defined state. And it will have some methods. So like uh, how they behave or behavior of that particular object. So like walking or taking food or running and so on. So these are some particular behavior or now uh, define behavior okay so basically this object will have two uh, things one is that defined state in programming which we call uh, instance variable okay or from um, instance field and uh, it will have some method so uh, for vba that will be you know sub procedure or function so this is the first concept that object, what is an object? So an object could be a real world object or it could be some abstract object. Okay. And then uh, we need to know about this class. So basically this class uh, is a blueprint of this object. Okay. So in programming, so let's say if we consider uh, a bank and if we consider a account, an account as a object uh, then the account will have some instance field or uh, defined state and some method okay so like the instance field could be that account holder name or account number or uh, current balance or date of opening account or account holders date of birth and so on these are the some uh, defined state or instance field okay so that is this part and um, the method could be like uh, withdraw from that account or, or deposit in that particular account or apply for debit card um, on that particular account apply for credit card or apply for transaction history and so on so that those could be some methods on that uh, particular account object so uh, the class will uh, class is a blueprint of this object okay so how the object will be created and how the object will be behave that will be you know uh, constructed in this class okay so that will be you know defined in this class so the class is uh, a blueprint of this particular object so this class will generate that particular object different behavior and instance variable so these are the basic concept that uh, we need to know about this object and then class now, object-oriented programming uh, has four uh, pillars concept. Okay, so the first one is that um, abstraction. Okay, so what does this abstraction means? That um, abstraction means that hiding the implementation or hiding the working details. Like if you want to withdraw amount from an account object or account class then you don't need to know how they will uh, supply the um, uh, supply the balance or how they will give you the money okay so if you have a proper data set like if you have a balance in your account then you can withdraw money right or you can deposit uh, money on your account so how they will uh, do all of those calculations that's not not your concern 
so that's all about this abstraction so we are uh, hiding the implementation of the object will be behave that will be uh, hiding from the client okay and then we need to know about this encapsulation so encapsulation means that uh, just sharing what you need to know and uh, uh, what are the you know uh, public things if they are accessible things for a uh, client of a particular account okay so uh, sometimes uh, when we need to uh, implement this behavior and uh, calculating different things then we may need some internal states or we need some internal fields uh, that is not relevant to the client so in that case uh, the encapsulation will um, ensure that the private field or that field which is not necessary for the client is uh, hiding away from the client so that part is called encapsulation so uh, for our cases uh, account number uh, um, in that case you know the percentage of or the, the um, profit is generated from that particular account is uh, encapsulated away okay so that's not uh, the client concern like uh, for a particular bank account so that could be an example of encapsulation we'll go into details uh, when we're going to implement this uh, in vv okay and uh, so in this video i'm just sharing the basic concept about this four uh, pillar and then we have uh, inheritance so inheritance means you know uh, inherit something so like uh, uh, if, if we had an animal class then uh, let's a uh, human be could be a child object of that animal class right uh, so in that case we are inheriting some properties from that animal class right so that's uh, inheritance and polymorphism this is very interesting uh, topics so polymorphism so in um, by this definition you can see that uh, according to this chemistry yeah. so polymorphism means that an object exists in different crystalline for different states okay so like carbon so carbon can be you know uh, exist in coal or in graphite form or in diamond form so the basic is structure is same but it can um, it can be exist in different state or different form so that's how this polymorphism okay so in, in programming so we are from going to achieve polymorphism by using interface or method overloading or method overriding but in VBA we don't have that method overloading or uh, method overriding facilities uh, but we have interface so we are going to have the polymorphism or polymorphism polymorphic behavior using interface okay so uh, for our particular cases like uh, account is a you know super class or a class and then we could, um, we can have uh, two different subclass like savings account and current account okay so in case of savings account we will get uh, uh, more interest rate than the you know current account so uh, in that case if we need to calculate the profit then we need to know that you know the percentage for two different cases so we can uh, have the interface that will calculate the uh, profit and that interface will be implemented in this savings uh, account class and current account class so that is for this polymorphism polymorphism and uh, in vv we don't have these options to um, get this inheritance things but uh, i want to add another thing that is composition okay so inheritance basically is uh, based on is a relationship okay so let me just like this one is a relationship like c rectangle is a c cell 
So C is, you know, defined that this is class, but rectangle is a set. So that is called this uh, inheritance. Okay. So inheriting something. But uh, we have another option that has a relationship. Okay. Like this one that uh, logo has a rectangle. So a particular logo can have rectangle or circle or triangle. So that is called composition. So in BB, we could have that composition um, by you know having an object as an instance variable. So for uh, our particular cases, uh, that account class. So account holder details like um, so account holder details could be account holder name, account holder address, account uh, holder date of birth. So we can uh, make another class to uh, hold that account holder uh, data. So in that case, this uh, account class has account holder details, right? So in that case, that is called composition. So instead of inheritance, we we can have that composition and we will use that composition in our uh, VVA project. Okay. So that's all about this object oriented programming. Uh, so let me just go through one more time that object is just, uh, it could be a real or like object. So basically it will have two things. One is that fields or instance variable and another was um, another is uh, behavior or method and then class so class is just a blueprint of this particular object so it will have that uh, details how this object will behave or how this uh, what type of instance variable this object will have okay. so that is a contract or blueprint and then in abstraction so abstraction means hiding the implementation details, okay? So you don't need to know how those things works, okay? So you just need to know, uh, I need this or um, I want to perform this operation. So that's about this whole abstraction. And, and encapsulation is um, about um, protecting the private data or internal data and just only share those which is relevant to the client, client code. Okay, so that is encapsulation. Inheritance is uh, like uh, a easy relationship. So it's inheriting some behavior from its parent class or parent object. But you know, we don't have inheritance. We will have uh, composition. So that is and has a relationship. And polymorphism, it's uh, a polymorphic behavior or different behavior based on different object type or different uh, situation that is polymorphism. So I will attach this link and this one for, for the reading, but um, this is in Java, I guess. But I guess the basic idea will be clear enough. And uh, from next video, we are going to start coding on this. But uh, to let you just know that uh, in VB we can go insert and then class module. So that is this particular class things, okay? And that class will hold some instance variable and field uh, and method that will be the, uh, you know, if we new up or uh, if we prepare object of that class, then it will be an object. So we'll go into details, the more details uh, in uh, next video, I guess. Uh, for the time being, have a good day. Thanks.